Hey, how's it going? Um, got out of bed kind of late today, so had a lot of work to do. So I'm just gonna go for an easy one. Let's uh, do an easy question. Oh no, why is it? Okay. Given an array of strings, words, uh, return the words that can be typed using letters of the alphabet on only one row of the American keyboard, like the image below. So the first row consists of the characters Q, QWERTY, U, I, O, P, and we can change words, return the ones that right. Right, fair enough. Very low bounds, so we can just brute force this and probably it'll work. Um, well, there are three rows. I could keep a set of all these characters and then go through each of the letters of each word and check if it's in the first set, if all the letters are in the first set. If it's not, then if it's all in the second or in the third, then yeah, so on and so forth. So definitely need to keep an unordered map. Um, an ordered set of chars. And I want three of those, so I can say uh, sets. Okay. Definitely have to go through all the letters. Uh -huh. W in words. Um, definitely have to go through all the characters. Let's see, um, so I could just go through all the characters three times. Is there a better way though? Let me think. I could go through each of the the characters and then, like for example, hello. I see H is here, E is here. So I definitely know that that can't be the answer. Mm, just thinking of an elegant way to do this. What if I instead keep track of which row each character is from. That might be easier. So I could go and I keep a map instead from a char to an int. Then have a string row one is equal to qwerty U I O P O two is equal to S D F G H J K L. Are they lowercase? No. So I definitely want to convert to lowercase if possible. Um, so, go through each character of R1, do M, M at C is equal to uh, 0. Might be better if I call this R1, R1 Q. So this is 1, 2. I could go through... Um, int i is equal to 1 i less than w dot size plus plus i and then I could say int r so the row is equal to the map at the first letter of this okay and then I could go through and check w at i If the row this character belongs to does not equal to R continue break um, skip is equal to true. So I could say skip is equal to false if skip 
continue. Otherwise, um, add it to the answer. Vector string. So dot push back word. Also want to convert this to lower case. Zero one two. Ah, return answer. Oh, really? Wait. Too lower. In fact, just to make it even clearer, just go through the words. A little less efficient, but it's worth the simplicity. Okay, let's make it more efficient um, and not use it on an ordered map, but just a bunch of arrays. So what we can do is have this, uh, an array of strings, um, those, like so. So instead of having an ordered map, we could have um, a char array M, and it has 26 characters. Pretty sure, right? Both lowercase and uppercase. And here we would just go through each of the rows so four I guess in this case it's better to have it index into I zero I less than three plus plus I rows at I Um, we could say m at c minus a is equal to i. That works, right? So that means all of these will be mapped to zero, all these would be mapped to uh, one, and all these mapped to two. And then here we could just say to lower that. That works the same, actually. To lower this, um, but we want to subtract a. Wait. Yep. Yeah. Now that works. Hopefully, this is faster. A little bit. But it's like two milliseconds. Huh. There is no way. Let's run it again. I don't believe this. Yay, there we go. 100%.